Welcome to day 57 of our BitCloud journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here with my twin brother, Brian Krasenstein. And today we're going to be talking about why BitCloud is not a scam. Brian, are you ready to get started? Yeah, so, so initially when BitCloud launched about 60 days ago or so, um, there was a lot of skepticism. Uh, I mean, there are people calling it a scam. Uh, I mean, anything involving crypto, people are going to call a scam just because it's kind of like shady because you don't really know all the details, especially when it first launches. And uh, what, what, I, what I've been saying, uh, I mean, I haven't been like pushing people to get involved on do big cloud uh, because I don't want them investing money they can't afford to lose because you could lose a lot of money. I think it's great to use it as social media, but media platform, but investing money, be careful because we don't know where things are headed yet. But from the very start, I saw that there were many large venture capitalists behind it. In fact, $165 million was pumped into it, uh, into a central wallet of BitCloud uh, through Bitcoin. Uh, and it was from many uh, venture capitalists that included uh, Sequoia Capital, which is a huge hedge fund. Uh, there was also uh, Coinbase Capital. There was Gemini, uh, Gemini's fund. Uh, there was uh, Anderson Horowitz, who's a, who's a big uh, venture capitalist. Um, there was uh, the, the Winklevoss twins through Gemini, of course. Uh, there was Kamath Palihapitiya and Social Capital. So these people knew, that, knew something. They obviously knew who was behind it and they trusted it enough to pump $165 million into it. So, so I think right off the bat, you kind of knew that this wasn't just some overnight scheme that was gonna fizzle away. Um, some of the criticisms I heard, or maybe you heard, what, what were some of the criticisms you heard from the Well, I, I remember I remember on in the clubhouse room with a bunch of big, Bitcoin maximalists, and they were arguing with a bunch of users on BitCloud that, you know, so Bitcoin maximalists, for those who don't know, are people who believe in Bitcoin to the extreme in some cases, and they don't believe any other cryptos have, have a chance to survive because Bitcoin's going to win out everything. So they were basically trying to call BitCloud a scam or say it's going to fail or, and all along, everything along those lines. And they're, they're essentially calling the people that were kind of talking about BitCloud and promoting it to other people. So they were saying that it was very dangerous for them to do that. But all these, none of these people were telling people, telling others to invest money in your BitCloud. These, you can sign up for BitCloud and use it as a platform without putting a single penny into it. So, so what was happening in this room, they, were, they came up with a few points of why they thought it was a scam. And one was it wasn't completely open source yet. Number two, you couldn't mine it. And number three, you couldn't take money off the platform. And in a matter of weeks since then, all three of those boxes have been checked with the exception of mining, but mining is coming soon and there's it's all in documentation. There's no reason not to expect mining to be coming soon. Yeah, um, and one one other thing I heard was that it wasn't decentralized, and and that that was the case. But no crypto is decentralized from the very start. I mean, Bitcoin wasn't decentralized. It, it took it took weeks to months before it was truly semi decentralized because at first it was operating on like two computers. So so it, it was going. It, you you can't have decentralization until you have adoption. And uh, well, adoption and notice. So, so you know, centralized means there's an entity or a group of individuals or an individual who runs something. Whereas decentralization means that no single entity, no small group of individuals are running the platform. And right now, it is centralized. BitCloud is centralized just because it's the main BitCloud node. And there's a few nodes popping up here and there, which are leading to decentralization, but I wouldn't say it's anywhere near being completely decentralized yet, but the door is open for it to become decentralized. Anybody can jump in and create a node. And once we get, you know, hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of nodes being created, then decentralization will take place. And, and, and there's so many uh, big developers working on other nodes and other, like, uh, I guess you could say, Face plates for BitCloud for the BitCloud blockchain. So they're all working on the same central database or blockchain, 
and these nodes pop up and they can take the blockchain and they now have the open source code. They can work around the blockchain and build a website around that database on a different node. So if they, if somebody came and like just shut down bitcloud.com tomorrow, the code's out there. The database, the blockchain is being copied constantly from on different servers. So you can't shut BitCloud's blockchain down without shutting down every node. And as more and more nodes come out, it's going to be nearly impossible to shut it down, if not impossible, because you can't reach every node at once. And once you start doing that, other nodes are going to spring up. So I, th I think the decentralization thing, that's headed out the door. You can't criticize it based on that. The, the fact that there's no off-ramp to sell Bit, the BitCloud crypto coin, that's, that's out the window too, because there are several several uh, third party platforms that are allowing for swapping a bit bit clout for other cryptos like ethereum and bitcoin as well as usdt so so that's 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 a moot point too you can't you can't criticize it for that so i don't know mining um, mining will be here. i'm also hearing rumors that they're going to stop selling bit bit clout on the platform itself which is going to lead to exchangers adopting it and people having to go through other go through third parties or do one-to-one -one exchanges with other individuals in order to obtain BitCloud. So once that yeah. happens, I think, I think the exchanges are really going to jump on board. Yeah, there's actually a line of code uh, that somebody uh, saw in the, in the back end, and it basically is called def a Diamond Hands or whoever, whoever developed the code put that it's a, called a deflation bomb, meaning that once this bomb goes off, that means that there's going to be deflation because there's going to be less and less bit cloud being minted mine and it's going to become more scarce so so not more scarce but it's going to the the growth trend of the of the supply is going to slow up well, well so instead of bit cloud mining it and selling it on the platform other miners are going to be mining it and selling it on other exchanges so I, yeah. or I, I, don't know, I don't know if the supply is going to be cut because it's still going to be being mined, but it's going to decentralize the creation of that supply. It's no longer going to be the developer of BitCloud. It's going to be other miners and node operators who are going to be creating right. those. No, what I mean is that the supply, the increase in supply is going to be slow, 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 slow until just like Bitcoin, you're, you have happenings. And there's less and less new supply coming on the market as demand is increasing nearly exponentially because it's a social social network. Social networks expand exponentially because of the networking effect. So as that as the as the social aspects of it expand exponentially, the supply is decrease. The su new supply is decreasing exponentially. So that's really powerful to the price of it. Now, now I'm not saying this is a good investment at all. I I, I think that. Um, I think we should all be very careful there. Um, don't don't put money in, just like any crypto, don't put money in that you can't afford to lose. And if you are going to put money in it, put a small amount that you can afford to lose. And if it goes to zero, you're fine. But if it goes up uh, that hundred or a thousand times, then you make up out really well anyway. So just, just keep that in mind. Like, like don't, don't go around telling people to Oh, buy BitCloud, buy BitCloud. Tell them to come on the platform. Come on the platform for free. Try it out and see what you think. And if you want to buy a little bit that you, with an amount of money that can afford you to lose, then go for it. Yeah. So, so right now you shouldn't be looking at BitCloud as an investment just because everything's so young. It's like a new crypto, when a new cryptocurrency comes out, it's not an investment. It's, you know, like nobody knows what's going to happen to it as far as dollar value goes. But BitCloud, the platform itself, the social media website, the decentralized social media website, you can go all in on without going all in with your piggy bank. Yeah. And it's not a scam. I mean, everything's out there. Everybody knows that the entirety of the code is out there. Um, there's nothing, there's a, there's an offer and you can sell the currency in the open market. There's not, there's no scamming in Bob. I mean, you could, I guess one could make the argument, hey, these people that bought in really early, they're going to be making bank. But I, I mean, that's with any cryptocurrency. I mean, look at, look at Satoshi Nakamoto. I mean, well, in any venture capital, million Bitcoin. And what? Then when it comes to venture capitalists, that's what happens no matter whether they're investing to get big cloud or they're investing to get a portion of a company. You know, it's just what happens. The early bird gets the worm. And in this case, I think that's what they're hoping for. Right. I, I mean, 
Facebook, how did Facebook start? They had venture capitalists that bought in when it was like a nothing company. And those venture capitalists turned, turned probably hundreds of thousands into hundreds of millions within, within less than a decade. So it's not really any different than that. If you build something people believe in and you work hard and, and you know that the technology and, and what's behind the company, or in this case, this platform, this decentralized platform, then good for you. You're going to make money. Yeah. So to close off, BitCloud is not a scam. Uh, I think that's a good place to end today. We will see you tomorrow for day 58 of our BitCloud. Probably, probably at the beach because we're going to be on vacation. So we might it might not be in this format. We might have a phone and we're talking at the beach because yeah. it might just be one of us. Here. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. We're going on vacation with our family. So see you later, guys.